Leadership makes the difference between miserable, mediocre, and magnificent. I want more magnificence and less misery. Getting clear and strong in your leadership will help you make more Mondays magnificent. That means people are looking forward to Monday as much as Friday because they are being powerfully and positively impacted by your leadership. I got my master's in organizational leadership. And as I studied, I realized there is no one accepted version of leadership. That's because everyone's expression of leadership is different. You need to get clear on who you are and how you define leadership then express it consistently, strongly, for the world to benefit from your unique leadership gifts. The process for getting clear and strong in your leadership definition is outlined in my book, Your Leadership Voice. When you are clear on your voice, how do you know whether you're an effective leader? According to Peter Drucker, leadership can be assessed by two things. Do you have followers? and do you get results? This is why leadership is more than just a title. When you do the things that earn people's trust, you are able to influence them. They become followers and together you can accomplish your goals. Just because you have direct reports doesn't mean that you have followers. Followership is a two-way relationship built on trust and underscored with respect. Do you measure your leadership success on results or total impact? While leaders can deliver amazing results, they also may leave a trail of destruction. I'm sure you can think of numerous examples of leaders you saw demonstrate command and control leadership that decimated their team. As I worked through the research completing my master's degree, the definitions of transformational, charismatic, or even servant leadership seemed incomplete to me. So I developed the concept of being a holistic leader. A holistic leader is successful based on the whole of who they are and what they leave behind them. Holistic leadership is about integrity, which comes from the Latin integer whole. Holistic leaders live integrated whole lives. Holistic leaders do not separate parts of their lives, believing there's a personal life and a professional life. They have one life and they bring all of who they are to the life that they fully live. Here are the ABCs of being a holistic leader. Authenticity, brilliance, and courage. Authenticity. Leaders who are authentic demonstrate a passion for their purpose, practice their values consistently, and lead with their heart as well as their head. Brilliance is about excellence or distinction. A holistic leader has the ingenuity and the insight to build on their strengths and use them well while building the team to fill in their blanks. Courage. A holistic leader has courage to stand alone, to be open, to be dedicated, and to make tough decisions. Holistic leaders are successful based on total impact. They value purpose, people, planet, and profits. They value relationships and results, character and competence. As you reflect on your definition of leadership and the attributes that are essential, here are some core concepts on leaders and leadership. Leadership is not about personality, but about providing direction and painting a positive picture of the future. People are not motivated by fear or reward, but by ideas that capture their imagination. One of the leadership definitions in my studies talked about charismatic leaders. You know, those people who have such a dynamic, people-oriented personality that they are deemed natural leaders. We believe that personality is great, but clear, consistent direction matters more. You may have heard the proverb that where there is no vision, people perish. Leadership requires passion. Leaders love their people. They unleash the passion of their followers by leading from the heart. This takes extra work because caring about your people means taking the time to know who they are and what matters to them. It means applying the platinum rule. You know what the golden rule is, like doing unto others as you want done unto you. 
but the platinum rule is a variation of the golden rule that calls for a more thoughtful approach when dealing with others. It asks that you do unto others as they would want done unto them. Following the platinum rule means making sure you know how the people around you want to be treated. When's the last time you asked your team members what mattered to them? What's keeping them up at night? How can you better support them? Leaders over communicate. It takes time for ideas to sink in. Leaders repeatedly communicate what is important and they don't treat their people like mushrooms. That is keeping them in the dark and feeding them crap. They also don't hold back information on a need to know basis. While it's important not to show up and throw up, telling your team everything you know, you do need to connect the dots, make meaning out of what's happening, and ensuring that the team knows what's going on. Leaders define success. Leaders are explicit about what needs achieved. Your team can't do it all. If everything's a priority, nothing's a priority. I remember one time when a senior leadership team took the time to eliminate some of the changes. They attempted to set priorities, only the change distortion field got in the way. That's the zone where the messages that the leaders send get twisted into something completely different than people hear. Bottom line is that no one executing the projects knew that they'd been canceled or reprioritized. Another CEO that I work with loves change. He's constantly adding more to the mix. This has created a sense of exhausted urgency where no one feels successful because the definition keeps changing. No one knows how to keep score or whether they're winning. Don't be that leader. Continuously ask and answer the question for your team, what does success look like? Leaders provide clarity and reduce complexity by defining success. Leaders hold people accountable. When commitments are made, leaders have to show moral toughness and follow through. Nothing erodes a leader's credibility like a lack of accountability. Leaders recognize and reward what's great. They build on the strengths of their people and their organization. And leaders, they lead the way. You've probably heard that quote, to be the change, Leaders exemplify the change that they expect from others. People will not believe what they hear leaders say, but what they see, leaders consistently do. How big is your say-do gap? How intentional are you about being a role model and doing the behaviors that you want to see in others? So as you reflect on your leadership and the areas that we just talked about, where can you improve? Check out your leadership voice, get clear and strong as you create your own unique leadership definition and increase your confidence and effectiveness, building on your brilliance. Bright on with Brighton Leadership.